there is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. All pottery is unique. Each piece, no matter how humble, undergoes a series of trials. Dragged kicking and screaming from the clay, pressed and molded into shape, fired. Only when it has survived these rites of passage does it become permanent, an object in its own right. But there's one piece of Chinese pottery that's maybe more special than any other. It's a cauldron in the shape of a hawk, just one of many unearthed ceramic objects attributed to the Neolithic Yongshao culture. It's special because, unlike most other examples of Yongshao pottery, it serves no obvious functional purpose. Questions abound. What was it for? Holding water? Storing food? Or did it serve a ritual purpose? Why is it shaped like a bird? To date, nothing else quite like it has been found. So scholars and researchers are sure to continue debating these questions. But maybe there's another possibility, that it was purely decorative. 6,000 years ago, Chinese pottery had transcended the practical and functional and acquired an artistic, aesthetic dimension. Kuo Kuo is a potter. She's especially keen on ancient animal-shaped pots like these. She's going to try to make a copy of the hawk-shaped cauldron. But making a copy is about more than satisfying a whim. After a gap of 6,000 years, there's no way of knowing exactly how this cauldron was made. Making a new one will involve a lot of guesswork on Kua Kua's part. Guesswork that will cast light on how master potters worked six millennia ago. The actual receptacle of the cauldron is supported by two stout legs resting on clawed feet and a tail. It's generously proportioned, perhaps hinting that a magnanimous heart beats within the chest of this bird. Overall, it's a curious composition, cute, noble, and severe, all at the same time. In fact, it's the cuteness of the hawk that gives this ancient work of art a surprisingly modern and contemporary feel, showing just how exquisite craftsmanship can speak to us move us, even after 6,000 years. The hawk-shaped cauldron is more than a handful of clay from 6,000 years ago. It's a vessel overflowing with the water from the wellspring of Chinese civilization. Perhaps more than any other, pottery is the art of time. Leave clay too long, and it'll dry and crack. Let it get too wet, it'll fall apart. It's about knowing when, as much as what, how long to fire in the kiln, how long to let it cool down. Living in an age when the pace of life has never been faster, the ancient craft of pottery has a lot to teach people today. And maybe that's the message the hawk-shaped cauldron has for us today, about the patience and care that went into its creation, a process that produced something of superb craftsmanship that endured for more than 6,000 years and now gazes out at us from its perch in the National Museum of China. <laughs>